these teeth are uh, grouped or they are small tube like structures. When they injected this uh, poison inside any, any part of the body, it becomes work very uh, gradually and when this crate become feel that some scare is there and they become scareful and uh, become uh, feeling some, uh, some kind of dangerous towards them, only that time they become furious and they bite somebody. Otherwise, they move within their uh, work and they do not harm anybody. But if they feel any kind of danger, if they feel, if they catch some kind of vibration, that time they bite. Okay. So, these all about the common features and the common characters of the persons uh, called Carbelias or the snake charmer as well as I have explained you uh, the um, way of biting a person uh, which does by a, uh, um, I mean poisonous snake as well as the snakes who are very dangerous in India as well as in all over the world. So in India we are, uh, we are just finding four kinds of uh, snakes which are very dangerous and these snakes names are as I uh, written here they are common crate, russell viper, saw scale viper, uh, saw scale viper, vipers are of two type. One is, um, first one is the russell viper, second is the saw scale viper. They both are very dangerous but what is the difference? Who are rustling? That means russell vipers uh, produces a kind of sound, hissing sound and this hissing sound is just seems to us uh, and it, uh, it is audible just like the pressure cooker uh, whistle, okay. The C sound comes out from the mouth and it is so loud and it is so um, audible and it is so fearful the person become, uh, can be alert but they work very fast and they are very active in time of the danger and they bite, okay. So these Russell vipers make the sound where are the scale saw. Um, vipers, they do not make any kind of sound, but they are even, they are very, uh, more dangerous, okay. But in India, who is the most dangerous, who is the most, uh, I mean, uh, poisonous snake, that is crate, okay. So that's all for the, for, that's all about the snakes and their uh, activities. Now we will proceed the story. So a story is a snake charm of the story. The storyteller is Aryanath, who is a snake charmer or you can say who is, who is a uh, man who, uh, who, is, who belongs to Kalbelia and who is a, uh, whose work is to catch the snakes. So I am Aryana, I can do something special which I am sure none of you can do. Do you know what? I can play the bean, you must be surprised. Yes, I can make a snake dance by playing the bean. I have learned the art from my family members. We people are known as Kalbelias. So, what about the Aryanath? Aryanath is describing about himself. The story is just like an autobiography story and uh, Aryanath is saying that he is a snake charmer or he's a, uh, he, his work is to catch, catch the snake. Okay. No, now, next he is saying that he can uh, just play with the bean. What is this bean? Bean is a special type of musical instrument which snake charmers used to play or they just flow this uh, bean and the sound like a um, musical sound and on this snake, on this uh, tune sometimes we see snakes are dancing, okay. So uh, Aryanath can play the bean and play, this bean is actually made up of a skin of the guard that is called the lau or the loki, okay. So it is made from the, uh, this kind of um, I mean vegetable called the gut and now the people known, the, uh, these people are known as the Kalbelias. Actually he belongs to the tribe and this uh, tribal people who catches uh, and who catch um, snakes, they are called Kalbelias. Okay, now we will move uh, who have, from which person and he learned these art from him, from his father and the grandfather. That's why he has written here, my grandfather. Uh, who, what is the name of his grandfather? Roshan Nathji was famous amongst our people. He could easily catch many poisonous snakes. So he is a very skillful person and he has that art. He can catch any kind of snake 
which are maybe they are poisonous and may be very dangerous. So he, he is able to catch the snakes like uh, viper, uh, russell viper, cobra, king cobra, any kind of poisonous snake. Uh, the person his grandfather can catch very easily. Now he tells me many stories about his past. So in the olden time there were no TV, there were no any other entertainment things and as well as the students were not going in the evening for their tuitions. Okay. So they all were free to play and uh, that time um, the um, society was little bit different. There were no uh, entertainment like TV series were not there like that. Okay. So that time all the children go out to play. So in those time when your grandfather uh, was, uh, was in uh, his childhood or maybe uh, more years than it okay so when uh, your grandfather in the childhood that time the all children went out to play and they had enjoyment by playing so this time from the time grandfather and the grandfather was have been uh, saperas or the snake charmer so his uh, grandfather and father both were the snake charmers and <coughs> catching a snake was their profession or you can say it is their job. So it was their job so they uh, uh, caught the snakes and they kept them in a uh, small box which are made of uh, which is uh, made up of uh, cane, canes or the uh, basket which are woven by the cane sticks. Okay. In this baskets, they keep these snakes and they take them uh, to uh, actually Kalbelias uh, bring the snakes and they make their tents. Okay, they are actually uh, nomadic people. Okay, they move from one place to another. So, in this case, maybe they are living near uh, near about some city or the town. So, in the daytime, they bring these snakes inside the city and they show these snakes they, on that time they showed these snakes to the uh, people and they uh, love to see it and they when they uh, flew this bean that time they dances after the dance uh, even people stay there because they that time ayurveda was most famous so these people um, sell some kind of medicines which are made of the herbs as i told you so these herb or these ayurvedic medicines is um, taken by the people or that time the people uh, just brought these uh, medicines for their use. So they, so that time they sold these medicines and uh, the general people or the people who oh, were watching the uh, snake dance and the snakes, they brought these medicines to their home for different kind of uses. So the story is proceeding here from the time of my grandfather and the great grandfather. We have always been saperas. Snakes have been an important part of our life and we used to move from village to village carrying our snakes in the bamboo basket. So what is the uh, media in which they keep the snakes? These are airy baskets because these baskets are woven from the cane sticks. Now, whenever we stopped in a village, a crowd would gather around us. As I told you, in that time when your grandfather was in a childhood, maybe that time there were no other entertainment. So when a snake charmer comes inside the village or whenever a snake charmer comes inside the town, all the people just make a crowd to see the snake because it was new for them and they do not get any chance to see them. Uh, by their eyes or just uh, li uh, lively they cannot see anything like this so uh, on this case they made the crowd and they just gather around that snake charmer and they wanted to see the snake and <clears throat> we would take out our snakes from our basket even after the show and they started when the snakes come out from the basket they uh, put it on the um, I mean land or on the soil and that time they play the flute or the bean and on this um, on the tune of that bean that uh, these snakes just nod their head and they move their body and we people thought or the persons who were seeing this thing this they, uh, they thought that they are seeing the snake dancing on the 
B. Okay, so it it was a very famous type of entertainment. Uh, those time uh, people used to see these kind of things. Next, we made these medicines from the plants collected from the forest. I had learned all this from my grandfather. I felt nice that I could help people with my medicines, and even if doctors and hospitals were far off. return people would give us some money or the food grains in this way we could manage our life so what they do at first they show the snakes and then they uh, flow the beans and they just play with the beans and the dance the snakes started to dance they actually move their body and the people enjoyed this kind of movement they thought it is a snake dancing and in return after even after the show the people stayed there why they stayed because they wanted to buy some kind of medicine and even sometimes it happens no uh, the government hospitals and the uh, nursing homes they are far away from the villages and from the towns so in this area maybe a uh, medical help or the medical treatment was not possible that time very easily that's why they usually uh brought some kind of medicines which they could apply in the time of their need and when any kind of poisonous is affected or any kind of snake just bite them because they live in the farms they live in the um i mean crop fields so there are snakes are there and they could be bite them so they uh, brought this type of medicines and kept them in their house okay so uh, they can treat the person who is being uh, affected by the poison and afterward if the poison is too vigorous if the poison is so dangerous that time maybe they uh, again uh, rush towards the doctor's treatment but the first primary treatment they had uh, given uh, to the person uh, from this kind of medicines okay and if uh, the person is consciously sometime they go there personally and treat that person and in return maybe they um, they have returned back them some kind of deeds it may be in a grain the form it may be in vegetables or the fruits or sometimes they return back them uh, uh, money also and this was their livelihood so from this job from this way it was the livelihood it was the job of the snake charmer they earn money they earn some kinds of grains and they go back to their jungles again for finding some other kind of snakes because uh, bringing new type of snakes was a uh, different type of uh, thing they can they could show to the uh, people and they could earn more okay so it was a livelihood next sometime i was called to the places where someone had bitten by the snake from the marks of the bite so these people were so skillful so seeing the fangs uh, i mean fangs are the uh, poisonous teeth or the teeth by which they put or they injected the poison inside a human being okay so fangs are actually two teeth they may be grooved and they their structure is just like a tube like a structure and when they injected these or when they pierced their um, these poisonous teeth inside a human being and they just uh, vomit out or you can say they just pour their uh, poison inside the body it may varies maybe some snakes 20 ml of the poison they give to the um, uh, to that person to who they are uh, to whom they are biting and maybe it varies from 20 to 60 ml but this 20 ml is also sufficient for a person's uh, death okay so these people are so skillful maybe a, a snake has bitten you and ran away so you couldn't see that uh, snake actually venom are different are for different kinds of venom so when you are bringing when you are taking the person to the hospital the doctor will ask you which snake and what snake actually bitten the person so that time you have you have to tell the name of the snake or the type of the snake so these snake charmers are so skillful by seeing the mark of uh, this um, teeth or you can say these type of fangs they uh, they can tell us that what type of a snake has bitten okay so this is their skillfulness or they are so expert to see uh, the mark of the teeth and they can easily tell us that which kind of a snake has uh, did this or which kind of a snake 
um, just bite the man. So we come to know about the a snake when once we come to know about the snake it is easy for the doctors to treat the patient okay now next we move some snakes bite can even cause death on the spot some snakes are just like the freight i told you na the karet it is actually in hindi and bengali i don't know what it says but it is karet so karet uh, this karet uh, snakes are so poisonous even the 20 ml of their um, poison is sufficient for a person or the it is fatal for them so on the spot they may be uh, become dead okay so but most of the snakes are non poisonous and the snakes who are living inside the water they are mostly non poisonous snakes sometimes when the farmers come running for the help and the these people uh, saw some snakes are there in the field and it could be, um, it may be a uh, danger for them, maybe they will bite the uh, person or somebody can be uh, bitten by this snake. That time they call these type of people or the Calvelias or the snake charmers, they go there and it is easy for them to catch these snakes. Nowadays and um, there are some agencies are also there and the people who are trained on this subject they go inside even inside the old house inside uh, the garden and sometimes inside the jungle when we feel uh, when they feel there are some poisonous snake because medicines are also made out of this poison so they just catch these type of uh, snakes and they bring it in the laboratory and they just uh, get the poison from this uh, snakes and they made different type of uh, medicines out of this poison okay or the venom now and the snake charmers were the first person who without having having any official training they got trained or they get this training from their forefathers and they become skillful or they become expert okay for catching fishes so there were <coughs> and on those where the good days we could help a lot of the people in many ways we can entertain them it was not likely today when everyone watching tv for the entertainment when i grew older my father taught me how to remove their poisonous poisonous teeth so aryanath is telling that he become very happy and he was uh, feeling very pride on of on himself he was feeling uh, pride as uh, anybody uh, anybody who is uh, just uh, um, he got all type of the uh, opportunity to entertain the people and to uh, entertain the people by their snake dancing as well as uh, he was able to help the person uh, on different ways uh, he could provide the um, uh, medicines he could provide any any kind of uh, help to the farmer if they see any dangerous or any dangerous type of snakes in the field and he could give any kind of uh, medicines to them and they were able to catch dangerous and the uh, dangerous and the poisonous snakes so these all were actually uh, help to the humankind so he was feeling uh, pride or you can say he was a proud person and he thought he can serve the human humanity and the human being so that's all about the uh, all about the aryana uh, and in the later stage when he become uh, el he become adult that time his grandfather also taught him how to uh, take off the uh, fangs or the poisonous teeth from the snake or how to get the poison from this snakes okay so it is a very dangerous thing but he learned all of this so now uh, from the story of this i'm ending it here and um, be be aware and be safe at your home and see whether there is any snake inside and around your house or not okay goodbye